My name is LaShonda, I'm 44 years old, and I'm currently in the fight of my life against breast cancer. On March 25, 2019, I was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer. A couple days after my initial diagnosis, the doctor scheduled me for surgery to remove the lump. Once they removed the tumor, they were still showing some cancerous cells around the surrounding tissue. So they had to go back in, do another procedure to remove the remaining breast tissue and also to insert the port that'll be used to give my chemo. When I first got the diagnosis, I think the biggest emotion that I felt was anger. I was angry with God. Why did you let this happen to me? I was angry with myself. Why didn't you do your exams like you should have been? I was hurt and I was afraid. When the doctor handed me the report, I looked over at my husband's face and all I could see was tears. I started to think, would I live to see my sons graduate from college? Would I live to see my daughters walk down the aisle? I was in disbelief that this was happening to me. By profession, I'm a nurse practitioner. I'm also a minister. So I'm thinking, God, how can you let your child go through this? But after so much prayer, so much just one-on-one -on -one conversations with him, he then showed me why. And God spoke to me and told me that there are gonna be some people out there who are not strong enough to handle this diagnosis. There are gonna be some women out there who might take their lives because of fear from having breast cancer. And he's gonna use me as that vessel during this time to help encourage and strengthen other women. A little while after I was diagnosed, I went on Facebook and did a live video just because I wanted to tell my story before anybody else did. And so many people inboxed me, texted me, called me to let me know how they were touched or encouraged by that video. And that validated then what I knew I had to do and why God would allow me to go through this. Um, does that mean I'm still not afraid? No, it doesn't. I'm terrified. After already having two surgeries, now I'm getting ready to begin phase two of this journey, which is the chemotherapy. And I think that is the part that I'm most afraid of. I had a conversation with my 12 year old daughter and I said, you know, soon mommy's is gonna be really sick and mommy may lose all of her hair and she just burst into tears. To see your family and the people you love hurt because they care so much for you is just an unimaginable pain. So I've been to so, I've had so many women to be supportive so many women from that video reached out to me who are survivors. I even had someone who was a one year survivor all the way up to being 26 year survivors. Um, I had so many people who encouraged me and poured back into me and let me know, hey, I made it so you can made it too. So I made the decision to do this vlog because I wanted to share my story and this journey with other women. Other women who may have to go through this and I pray no one does, but we know in the reality that so many women are affected by breast cancer every day in America. And a lot of African-American women have triple negative breast cancer, which is extremely aggressive, very invasive. And we have to make sure that we're getting screened early because early detection is the key to survival. And right before I was diagnosed, I lost a friend to breast cancer. She had stage four breast cancer, but she was so tough and she was a warrior. And she also vlogged her journey. And watching some of those videos truly encouraged and inspired me. So I just hope that throughout this vlog, somebody else can be inspired. Somebody can be encouraged to make sure you're doing your breast exams, to make sure you're getting your mammograms. I don't care if the doctor says, well, you're too young. You push for that mammogram anyway, especially if you have a family history. My grandmother had breast cancer. I had other people in my family that had different kind of cancers. Um, I did do the genetic testing, which came back negative. So that was comforting to know that there was a decreased risk 
of developing other types of cancers. Um, I have not had a mastectomy, so they just removed the lump. However, I'm probably going to have a mastectomy, a double mastectomy after chemo, just for that reassurance, because there is a chance, and I think the oncologist said it was like a 1% per year chance that I could get breast cancer in the other breast. So that is my plan, to go forward with chemo, and then after chemo, to get the double mastectomy, and then start the reconstruction process. Um, I have four children. I have a husband that's wonderful great support system, my sister, my mother, my aunts, just friends, so many people have shown me so much love who've said, we're with you, we're fighting with you, you're not alone. And these people have truly stood by me through this first initial phase of this diagnosis. They've been right there with me. And if it wasn't for those people, I probably wouldn't have made it. So I'm gonna to continue to vlog, to continue to record throughout this process. Um, and I just hope and pray that somebody is touched by what they hear. And I'll also share the link to my Facebook page. You can inbox me if you have any direct questions, um, if you want to talk, if you're going through or you have a loved one going through. I'm here for you as well. And we're going to do this together. We fight and we win.